Dear students, welcome back to Full Scholarships live video series. Today we will discuss about the A Star International Fellowship in Singapore, and this scholarship is uh, open in two rounds, and the round one starts from the October to the uh, year end, and then next from the March to the uh, same year end. So you have two deadlines to apply. So you can apply uh, anywhere between March and December. And the scholarships are available for the uh, postdoctoral courses and some doctoral courses as well. We will discuss about this scholarship in a while. Before that, let me remind you to subscribe our YouTube channel Full Scholarships and do also check out the Instagram page Full Scholarships. To get to this scholarship page in uh, Singapore, you can check out the YouTube video description. Link is given there, or you can check out the Instagram bio, and link is also given there. Meanwhile, you can check out the posts on the Instagram and they have the QR code embedded on them. So you can scan the QR code and it will redirect you to our website here. Or you can directly visit by uh, visiting our website www.fullscholarships.net or cashmillook.com and scholarships are posted there on daily basis. And before posting, they are verified as well. So now you can check out some basic details here. With the A-Star International Fellowship, you can have your experience over the Singapore education system and you can complete your research there and they have their primary laboratories across the world and this institute uh, is located in Singapore uh, main, uh, main Singapore so you can check out and you can study there so courses offered are also mentioned here and the program period is two years and there are two deadlines again reminding you that it's the year end each year and you can also check out the discover related topics here. So inter, uh, student information for international student, private scholarships, bank scholarships, and overseas study loans, clinical research study loans are also listed here. So you can check out them as well. Now, once you are on this page, you can check out the uh, recipients and their benefits. So you can check the benefits. So it will cover the your uh, round fee for the travel as well as the air tickets, the visa fees and a uh, monthly stipend. Then you can check out the uh, other information that is the eligibility criteria. It's also mentioned here in the nine points. And then you have to follow the link for the website to apply. In order to start applying, you need to click on this apply now button here at the end. So each of our page has their own apply now buttons at the end of the descriptions as well as the links for these scholarships are posted on youtube video description so each video has a link in their respective descriptions click on the links in the apply link on the top of the description and you are redacted here now start applying by clicking on this apply now button here once you do that you can check we have been redirected officially to the agency for science technology and research so this is an a star singapore institute and it's an a star international fellowship and you can check the photographs here so showing the alumni from the previous acceptances and now you can check application portal is open and it's until open until the first of march each year and the december is uh, the last deadline for the preceding month end or year end and then you can check out the eligibility criteria you can click on this plus sign and drop down will be there so you can check must requirements that is the passport and other details then the scholarship coverage service commitment application procedure and frequently asked questions are also listed here in order to start applying you need to click on this apply here so click on this apply button once you click on that apply button you can check scholarship application registration page is there so let me zoom in for you as you see here the scholarship application is mentioned at the top now register for the first time users if you are new here and visiting this page as an international student so just submit your first name as per the passport a given name last name gender citizenship type nationality and your passport number date of birth email confirm the email enter the verification code and just submit after accepting the terms and conditions once you accept that so they will send you this type of email with the login id and password this is a temporary password you need to change it so use the same ID and password and just click on login without sign in pass. So you don't have to use the sign in pass as we are not Singapore citizens. 
So we have to skip this step and just click on login without the sign pass. Now click on the login button and wait for the login page to appear so that we can fill the information and proceed to our next application steps. As you see the application dashboard is here and we have to log in here. So you can use the email that you received in the in your email or the same email that you received and the passwords use that and now click on login. For the first time users you have to authenticate it via the app. So you have to download the app on your phone and authenticate the password first for the first time and then this type of 2FA login verification will be asked. So you have to open that app and scan the QR code on the screen then uh, authentication will be generated. So you have to enter the same authentication like I am uh, writing uh, here you can check now click on the validate code and it should redirect us successfully to our dashboard where we can fill the successful application. As you see we have been successfully logged in and you can check two factor authentication is successful and now click on OK so you can check out that the pin has been validated and it will redirect us to the applicant home and you see there the message is the registration is successful and you can download this message as well. Now in order to start applying to applications you can click on this apply to scholarships tab here on the left side and in the menu click on this apply for the scholarship and now there will be a list so you have to choose which scholarship you wish to apply. So now available scholarship so group so you can check out by the course undergraduate graduate postdoctoral international awards so so you can filter it by your need and here you can check a star graduate scholarships a star postgraduate fellowships so right now i'll be going for the a star international fellowship and it's there to apply so click on this apply now button here so you can also apply to other scholarships listed here whichever suits your profile so you need to click on follow on that and apply now uh, I have just selected the scholarship application and the tab will open and we have to fill the information here. So the page is loading right now and it shows a message that ensure you submit the application under seven working days and your referees do also follow that instructions. And now you have to choice, you have to select the courses and now you have to give the preference. First, I will be going for the graduate scholarship that is by default from the institution and second as well as the international fellowship it's the by default and the second is graduate scholarship so you have to choose it and two scholarships will be there selecting for you and now personal info cross check the details that are mentioned on your passport upload a photograph then citizenship id and the address then the pr stats like do you have your permit residency in singapore or not so as an international student just select no and move to the previous nationality enter your home address permit address uh, your national id details passport details and family income details and then save as draft and move to the next step next step is education details so check out that then fill the education of others like your parent education after that if you have any previous awards on the scholarships you can submit that and your language proficiency so if you don't have IELTS, you can skip that and you can just submit the English proficiency certificate from your previous institute stating that you have completed the education in the English and then career if you had any of the experiences you can submit that then uh, your education plans so your future plans as well and the research proposal then you have to enter the essay and that is the personal statement uh, in this tab and also enter the ref email and referee details so they will receive the email so they have to revert back to the ad uh, your reference letter after that they have uh, there is a last tab it's declaration so click on this enter the details and tick that i agree to the terms and conditions that and the information is correct as per my knowledge and submit your application here so i hope you enjoyed this process for the singapore scholarship if you have doubts in any of the application details you can message us on instagram or you can just uh, comment down below the video we will guide you there and our team is there to support you and assist you throughout the application process if you need any of the uh, personal statement or statement of purpose you can message us on instagram and we will send you that for you and other details also are available on our website fullscholarships.net and cashmanlook.com please do share this video subscribe to our youtube channel full scholarships 
see you tomorrow with another episode